Basically, using a grey a grey thread, and this is a Uni AO. I'm going to take the thread down, basically in this style of hook to the point, which is about halfway down the shank, and then bring the thread halfway back up. Remove the waist piece. That gives you an area for uh, to, add, to add your wing in, and then your hackle, and so on. Now, the, for the wing, I'm just going to use this is Mallard primary feathers. You'd slip from a left and a right side, one from either side of the wing, round about maybe 4mm or so wide for the fly this size. I usually just open it out and tear it off. Now you want the points forward of the eye. Just leave it big. Meaning, put them so the curve comes away from one another. You'll see once I put them together. See how they're curving away. If it had been a wet fly they'd be curving towards one another. You want the ends, the tips here, to line up. You see how the point's coming over the eye. The length, you want the length of the hook. Just make sure these are the, the same length. It's important that you do that. The full length of the hook, forward of the eye. Just tie it down. Now you could tie it back I'm going to tie it forward. A couple of pinch loop turns there just to hold it. And then these ends bring them forward and up and pull the wing back. Do a pinch and loop really in close, two or three turns. What this does is it locks the wing or lifts the wing. And then you can trim this away. Just come in, trim it away. Tie down. You can hide that with the hackle. Now what I'm doing here now is coming for coming to the back and work my way all the way down just before you get around the bend of the hook. Now we use a natural grey fibre, cock fibre for the tail. You could use micro fibbits if you wish. It's up to yourself. Now I'm looking for about half a dozen here so fibres. It's basically tail length is the full length of the hook. Tie it on top a single turn and then bring the thread underneath the points and then lift and lock down with a single turn. This will lift and spread the fibre slightly. It's the old way of tying, that's a simple simple way of doing it. Then come in and take away the excess but don't trim it right down, trim it the length of the body. Now for the, the body itself, you could use a nice light blue dun dubbin. Or in this case, I'm going to use an actual grey turkey. Turkey is excellent. It's a very good fibre for a body. Now, what I'm going to do here, is basically tie it into tie it a single turn round. And then slide the fibres to the fine end of the turkey. And then touch and turns. Bring my thread up. Tying it in and the tail fibres. Now you could use a wire rib to protect this. But I prefer to either use a fine varnish. Or in this case, a tiny bit of super glue. Just makes your fly last a wee bit longer. And then just form your herald type body using the turkey. As you see, it makes a great body. Right at the back, two or three turns. Now uh, we've got a natural, it's a natural grey Chinese hackle. Length of the fibre, you're looking probably one and a quarter of the gape. And tie that up to yourself. You could make it into a parachute if you wish as well. Scratch in, oh, in the right way. What you're looking for is a fibre. The underside, front of the feather is here, where you've seen the cape. This is the underside so that the fibres sit forward. Tie in the tip, bring the thread to the front, 
this point here. I'm going to use my Harco pliers so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Now, depending on how heavy you really want it, I'm looking for at least about three turns of this Harco at the back, and again three turns or so at the front. <laughs> now, don't worry if that happens. Just start again. Just tighten it up. Harco points will break. These are just Chinese. Very fragile, but once you get it tied in, they're okay. Three turns at the front. Cross your thread. Bring your thread to the eye. Trim away the hackle point and any fibres that's going forward. There are times I could fold them back, but in this case I'll just leave it. Just come in. Make sure you fold any fibres that's going forward or the eye back. Now, I'll come straight in and whip finish. Just come straight in and take your time. Go one, two, three, four. It's plenty. And then, trim away your thread. And then, all you have to do is tiny bit of varnish. I'm not pulling anything forward until I've varnished the head. If you get some into the eye, it's very simple to clean. Just draw your needle underneath. And then clean out the eye. And there you go. Lift the wing and the fibres. Mm -hmm. 